Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here. Today we're gonna discuss how you can build relationship between CCT and CPT. Other than that, in this tutorial, you will learn how you can build your own command system using Jet Engine CCT in WordPress. Now, if you want to enable CCT or custom content type, you have to go to Jet Engine dashboard. And enable custom content type and click on save just refresh your dashboard and you will see a new section custom content type here we need to create a new custom content type we will specify a name suppose my comments because WordPress native comments are already here so to avoid any confusion you can change the name this is the table name the reference which is stored in our database we can have an icon for that now we need some fields so normally in our comment system we have name email phone number comments etc we will take only three fields other than that in order to build relationship between cvt and cct we have to take another field post id now usually how relationship work you have to map two tables with the help of primary key and secondary key or columns in this case we will have post id because in wordpress with each post we have an id so we have to transform this id in custom content type first thing is name we will keep it text second we have email i will keep it text then we have comments and we can keep it text or we can have it a visvic editor and the last thing post id okay we can keep it text or you can keep it numbers and click on add content type now we have another section my comments here which is empty now the second step is we need to create a form using jet forms because we need to show the form here for the comments click on add new title of the form is comments form normally whenever we design a form we remove post id but in this case we will keep post id we need a post id of the current post this post okay so you can choose the format uh, the type header name post id or anything you want and current id and the field value we choose post id okay changes we will take another field called name full name placeholder save another field email And last field comments it will be basic editor comments <coughs> apply we will drag the button to the end okay now we have one two three fields one submit button and one post ID which is reference of the current post now we will go to notification and here we will click on insert update custom content type what is the type comments the status will be published <clears throat> if you want to review the comments before publishing you can make it draft we will map the fields post id is post id full name email address and comments okay we will save changes okay and publish 
now we need to show this form in single post template we will go to templates theme builder and we will open our single elementor post template search for form we have two form this is elementor native form and this is from jet engine okay we will choose here comments form okay and we will make it ajax so we don't need to load our page again and again click on update let's refresh this one and we got the comments form this is my email testing comments and submit okay so our comments has been submitted let's go back to our content type and see whether we have comments or not comments we have one comments click on edit to see all the details okay now we have the name email comments and this is post id for reference for connectivity for relationship okay now i will add another comments also submit okay comments edit now the last part is to display our comments here and make this section a bit beautiful and presentable so here i will drag a add comments okay and other than that let's make this form 50% so we can save some space all right the last part is we need to create listings display our content type go to listings hit new instead of post we will so choose custom content type my comments single comments display So we will take section full width on the left side we will show an icon of a user or more specifically with the pencil icon okay on the top we can mention the name from dynamic tags you can choose custom content field and it should be name so our name is appearing now we'll take a text editor and here we choose content type it should be comments and last thing we need a date also we can take an icon box remove everything and we change it to calendar or more specifically clock And the value should be custom content type and created date okay so we got this date now if you want to show human readable date you can click on dynamic field you can choose dynamic field and uh, here we choose modified date okay it will display the same we go to filter output and choose format date so you can format it accordingly December 21 but if you want to show human readable you can 
five hours ago or three hours ago you can choose by yourself let's style this section vertical align should be middle and 10 percent pixel this one is okay and we can give a small border to separate two section all right click on update now we will go here and first we need to show the comments and then we need to show the form so duplicate discussion now we will drag listing grid and listing grid we will choose comments I think single comment display we got our comments I will make it one column okay perfect we will click on update now here is a technical thing if I refresh I can see the comments okay but if I click on any other story I can see the comments here also but this comment does not belongs to our post so what we need to do we have to show only those comment which belongs to this post so in order to achieve that you can check crocoblock macros crocoblock macros they have all macros listed over here what we need to do is to map our current post id with the post the post id store in cct so for that we can use current underscore id return the id of current post okay we will copy click here and we will on the listing grid you can click on custom type query we will filter it by post id equal to current post id show only those comment which belongs to the same post click on apply and update let's see the result we will refresh the page and we expect two comments here okay perfect let's refresh and we have no comments here okay you can change the text and all those stuff let's try one more from here submit and let's refresh the page we got our comments here okay now if you can if you want to modify it a bit more you want to show latest comment first and so you can do all those stuff from sorting here okay uh, i think it's enough for today if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much